I'm here with Coach Gold. Coach Gold, I know you got some big news to share, so I'll let you go first. Hey, uh, well, I mean, I guess the cat's out the bag now. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've already rebranded it, quote, unquote. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'll be the new um, head coach of uh, Quality Education Academy, uh, the Q. So, now, Coach, so, so we're ready. Congratulations. I know I appreciate you're it, man. And so what kind of led to this decision? I know a lot of your, your coaches, your coaching staff is excited. I know you're excited to have a new team. Yeah. But what kind of led to this this decision? Uh, I mean, you know, um, you know, just just a new opportunity, new challenges. Uh, so we just want to make sure that uh, you know, something that uh that uh that motivated me. Um and uh, you know, I never thought it would be a quality education uh academy, you know, so uh, but, you know, when approached, uh, I got the opportunity to talk about it. Uh, you know, it was a new brain for me. And, uh, you know, it was just, you know, just something that really intrigued me. Uh, it motivated me, gave me new life. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity, you know, to be in a different arena and, uh, you know, get to coach, get some of the best uh, night in and night out. Coach, I, I'm really excited to, to see you coach over there. I'm going to definitely hit up some games. But to go back on the past six championships at Winston-Salem Prep, just talk about your fondest memories before you move on to this this huge step in your in your career. I mean, you know, again, you're talking about a program that you started. So, I mean, uh, you know, you're going to always, you know, uh, hold a special place in your heart for that. Uh, I started it, you know. Uh, and uh, Coach Hope gave me the opportunity to do that. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, long before that, you know, it's just people saw some things in me, you know, that uh, was standing there while gave me the opportunity. And uh, how Wes and Alex Mevin and you know, even my godfather, uh, you know, Willie Ashford, when he found me in the McDonald's, gave me the opportunity to coach there. And then, you know, again, Walter Faye with the Carolina Hornets and then John Allen and Mr. Hunt with North Carolina Select. Just, uh, the cap of Magic gave me the opportunity to win the national championship with those guys. Uh, you know, and then again, like I said, Ricky Hope giving me the opportunity and uh, you know, to 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 brand myself. Uh you know, you always you're always gonna have uh memories and love for those that gave you the opportunity to do something that you wanted to do. And uh, so for prep, my fondest memory, obviously it's the six state championships. You, know, you can never take that away from us. It's in it's in ain't etched in history for the rest of my life. Uh, for my kids' life and anybody that come after us, uh, when you're always looking and you're going to see one we'll set up prep when it's uh, six state titles. And uh, I wish them nothing but success and hopefully they win some more uh, uh, after me. But, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, those are some of my fondest memories walking in those hallways and watching the gym floor get changed and bleachers and all kinds of things, you know what I'm saying, that you watch that you build a, a great program uh, that, uh, you know, people are dying to uh, take over. So, Again, uh, so it tells me that we did something right. Uh, me and Coach Holt and, and, and my administration, we did something right uh, with that. And then, you know, now that, you know, I get the opportunity to move along to uh, quality education and, you know, I got people that, that feel the same way about me now uh, as Ricky felt about me when I started at uh, Bruce Prep and Ms. Bellinger, uh, Antonio Stevenson, uh, and then I, I athletic director, Mr. Woodrow. Um, and then, you know, got a chance to meet uh, Tony Woods, uh, Mr. Su uh, uh, Suarez, you know, I'm getting to meet some great people over there that, that really have a culture in place. And, you know, we're all excited. I'm telling you, when I tell you we're excited, uh, we're like kids in the candy store about the possibilities of what we're going to do with Q uh, QEA or Quality Education Academy. So, you know, again, we're looking forward to it, you know. You know, great memories, but, uh, you know, we're looking to go build bigger and better, better memories with uh, – uh, Quality Education Academy. Well, thank you, Coach, for joining me, and it was a pleasure to cover you during two of your, cha your state championships, and, and I'm really looking forward to watching and covering you on this next journey. Uh, and again, Logan, uh, you know, I know you'll be in the gym with us. Uh, uh, I appreciate what you're doing, again, for the community, for our high school athletes, uh, just for athletes in general. Uh, you're doing a great job, and, uh, you know, I've always told you, it's a game of inches. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Coach. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, champ.